Cold War Civic and Consumer Forum Secretary Judit Almeida said she will again knock the National Green Tribunal and the High Court doors for the action if Goa Coastal Zone Management Authority fails to act against the coming up of a lot of illegal structures on the beachfront of Cold War in no development zone. Almeida was speaking after Goa Coastal Zone Management Authority officials conducted site inspection of Mickey's Bar and Restaurant after the High Court order, but officials found that the owner failed to do restoration work of sand dunes and violations still exist in the vicinity of the restaurant. Uh, the site of Mickey's Bar and Restaurant, which was finally decided by the Honorable Supreme Court in uh, in October, on 10th of October. The, Today was an inspection conducted by the GCZMA for compliance and the biodiversity to, con to do the restoration works of the sand dune because it is built on a sand dune. Now the issue here is that they have come for an inspection thinking that they have complied but they have found a lot of violations still exist like the, the boundary walls, there is a lot of still a lot of concrete uh, sto uh, stones kept here. There is uh, the septic tank, soak pits are still existing over here. There is an overhead tank which is standing up there. It is, it is a shocking thing that even after, after giving enough time to the, uh, to the uh, respondent of, uh, dis to demolish all the structures, the appellant, the, the work has not been done. I am happy that the GCZMA has now for the first time dis come for an inspection to check for, for compliance. This is very, very important because in 2022, several structures in Kolwa and Senapati have been directed to be demolished, which have not gone in appeal. Those structures are still standing because they say that PWD has no money to bring the equipment to demolish those structures. So for the last two years, those structures are still standing there. They're continuing with their commercial activities. The GCZMA, I was expecting, would issue immediate closure and sealing of all these illegal structures like the high court has done in the case of Arambol and, and Kandoli and those places. The same thing should have been replicated over here. I am hoping that the, GC, the, the GCZMA will now start taking Suomoto. Another issue is today I, I visited this place are nearly after 10 years and I found a lot of more structures have come up here in this area in the NDZ right on the beach front. Is the GCZMA aware of this? Is it the duty of us ordinary citizens to keep complaining for them to go? The High Court in the same matter of Mickey's had, Supreme NGT had clearly written a last paragraph of their order saying that it is the duty of the GCZMA to identify illegal structures immediately coming up and take action and not for people to complain all the time. I'm making this very strong point. And if this is not done, I have seen just now a lot of new structures have come up here. If it is not done, I will take the same order and I will go to the NGT or the High Court and say that this is what is happening in Kolwa and Senabati. Nothing is happening along the rest of the villages. It must be even happening there also. It is now that the Honorable High Court in its wisdom has passed very good orders recently. I am hoping that the GCZMA is going to start acting. Put in use technology like GPS etc. to identify any structures coming up immediately because the Talatis who are supposed to file their reports every 15 days are not doing so. The local panchayat is least bothered as soon as long as they they are given like paying uh, people are paying trade tax to them. They are not bothered whether the structures are legal or illegal. Hence, now we, whatever issues left, we will go to the, to the high court again and the NGT wherever necessary. For Prime Video Journalist Akshay Savartekar, Madgaon.